Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know. You know. And still the voice of hardcore boxing. Right. Straight into business, no messing about. I've just been looking on this website here, Sky Sports. Hmm. Are doing a Anthony Joshua live chat with fans. <laughs> what? Have you seen some at comments? Have you seen some comments on here that maybe might not be doing it now? The main people at Sky are now sweating, sweating, because the meal ticket might be... They might be in trouble here with Joshua, let me tell you, because one thing about British boxing fans and British people in general, they're very fickle, aren't they? One minute you're up there, the next minute they're not. Now, you put yourself on a pedestal, and you're trying to be fake, you get found out. For example, reading out someone else's speech. There's not more faker than that, is there? Hey, Limping in the middle of a pandemic. Not only have you got crutches on and you're supposed to be laid up, but you're surrounded by all these people, but yet you're supposed to be self-isolating. What? Who's advising this man here, Anthony Joshua? Where's well, money gone to his head? I don't know, but... It looks to me like there's a lot of backtracking going on at Sky and there's a lot of people squeaking. There'll be people there, trust me, squeaking for their positions because, let me tell you this, if Frank Warren does get back in at Sky, there's going to be some scores even, let me tell you. There's going to be some major, major rimming going on in the next few months major rimming like you can like you could never imagine major there's talkers and there's cheese and onion walkers I'm back to cheese and onion now instead of smoky bacon but getting back to the live chat has anybody seen the comments that are coming through now normally the you're cool, you're ace. You, you're the saviour of British boxing. Some of them comments that I was reading. Not very nice, but then again, some of the comments that I get sent are not very nice, are they? But while ever they're talking about Joshua, they're leaving somebody else alone. That's what Joshua will tell people. Because that's what I tell people. I just go... Six months ago, I'd be like, get me his address. Anybody said that about me now? It's part of the game, isn't it? If you're going to do... If you're going to put your son out there, you're there to be shot at, so, point I want to make is this, if Joshua fights Poole left right, it's a risky fight for him, because I don't think he's got his confidence back, but how are they going to sell Joshua Poole left, how, who would want to buy tickets to that, so what they're doing now, they're doing a big PR thing, they've, they've parked Joshua up, he's not said anything since his speech, they've told him, stay out of the way, and we'll ease you back because boxing people that they, they forget don't they what goes on it's a bit like prince charles in it we all hated him didn't we for messing about behind princess diana's back we all hated that and but now we all, we all love him don't we but it's took the best part of 30 year on it do you know what i mean i don't think that'll be the case with prince andrew though because it's different circumstances in it you know, all these idiots on here will keep saying people can they'll like him in time and all that but but we're going off key here Anthony Joshua as far as I'm concerned he shot his Senate foot on it and look how the tides turned five years ago Tyson Fury at world champion won in 2015 everybody would give him loads of stick after he won it didn't they they never, they never get no respect Tyson his dad Peter Asif Valley Mick Hennessy the, everybody just tried the best to get the belts off him and do his head in and score duggery. Now they all love him. And he's turned it around in under five years and he's, he's, he's back as Laniel, isn't he? But Joshua, he's slowly but surely hung his sem with all the fakeness, all the Muhammad Ali stuff and blah de blah. And now all of a sudden we're, we're, we're talking about Joshua as this technical boxer who absorbs things and learns things. I don't agree with Crawford Ashley on that. I think Tyson beats him three times out of three. Crawford Ashley thinks that it'll be one each and then flip a coin for a winner. I don't think so, personally. I thought Joshua was shocking in Saudi Arabia. I thought that he fought frightened. He fought, 
He threw a jab like Johnny Nelson does, you know, when you're throwing it, but you're going back like that, it's, oh, oh, like that. When in doubt, reach out, but Joshua was reaching, wasn't he? He, he won't throw his jab like he normally does, because he's just a, a straight one-two merchant, isn't he? He were reaching out like that, and that's like a frightened guy. Every time Ruiz came in, Joshua were gone. Ruiz spoilt him saying coming into heavy because he couldn't, he won't fit enough to deal with it. He could do it rounds because it's in here. But I thought Joshua fought frightened in Saudi and my own personal opinion is that they'll, be, they'll know this. Look, the Hearns are not daft, are they? They're not boxing people, but they'll know that it's coming to an end now. And what you've got here is overkill. You've got overkill. That's what you've got overkill. Everybody will want Joshua to lose now because they've seen what he is. He's put his set in the mix now. He tried to play the ratio card to probably to do it for hype, aren't they? Because every time anything happens in this country, we have people like Macho and Sky and Eddie Earn and Joshua. They're jumping on bandwagon with their opinion about stuff, but they tried it with this and it's backfired, hasn't it? And then going on about don't buy things from certain shops and this and that. What? What? It's a PR disaster for him, isn't it? A bit like the hacking thing. You know when he said he got hacked? The Eddie Chambers thing. Black superior race and all this nonsense. Oh, I got hacked. Well, he didn't get hacked this time, did he? Because he got too big for his boots. He started reading it out. He read a script out, didn't he, on, on TV, national TV. Can't say he got hacked there, can you? Eddie would have been like, oh, commercial Eddie. But. I will be going on that live chat and I'll be sending some questions in that I want Joshua to answer so we're going to see aren't we but mine will get cut off straight away but it is what it is so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing alright shout out to my sponsors I couldn't do this without you boom boom